Hi, my name is Pat. I'm one of the patisserie teachers and this morning we're going to make chocolate mousse. I have my ingredients in front of me here. The first thing we need is our gelatin and I've got my gelatin here and I'm just going to soak this while I talk to you. So I've got a little bit of ice water here and we're just going to place our gelatin leaves inside until they become nice and soft. Now, a mousse is a cold set dessert and that's one of the reasons why we have the gelatin because the gelatin is a setting agent. A mousse has a nice, light, uh, fluffy texture and we achieve that with our egg yolks and our caster sugar which we're going to whip together over this double boiler here and we're going to put this on the stove and just bring this water up to heat and then once it comes to the boil we're going to turn it down to around just below a simmer or a simmering point and then we can start to whisk our egg yolks and sugar. It's important if you weigh your egg yolks in advance that you keep them refrigerated for a food safety point of view and also that you keep them covered because otherwise they dry out and they get a skin. So you can see here how I've got my glad wrap touching the surface of my yolks. I'm using a fine caster sugar. Also don't put the caster sugar in with the egg yolks too soon because the sugar will draw the moisture out and the proteins come up into little lumps and that's what we call burning the egg yolks. So I've got my ingredients here. I also have my chocolate and my butter. I've already started to melt it just so we can move along a little bit. It's a good idea if you're going to prepare any moulds or anything like that that you can pre-soak your gelatin and you can pre-melt your butter and chocolate. So that goes on a heat over here and we're just going to get ourselves a nice smooth chocolate paste. We're going to stir this over a moderate heat while we get everything else organised and make sure that the butter emulsifies into the chocolate and that it's not too hot. Also, you'll notice I'm using a metal spoon. I'm not using a wooden spoon. So you use metal, metal or plastic so that you don't seize up the chocolate. Over here on my right, I have my cream. Now I've pre-whipped my cream and you can see my cream has a nice soft peak to it. It's a nice soft whipped cream. Because I have this cream out on the bench while I'm doing the demonstration, so it's for a reasonable period of time, I have it on some iced water to keep it nice and cold. So my cream is already whipped, my chocolate is melting, I have my gelatin is softening, and I can start my savoyon. So we need to remove the glad wrap from the egg yolks, and our egg yolks and our sugar go onto the stove, and we're just going to whisk these together. Now we're using the heat from the stove top to help dissolve the sugar and to strengthen the egg yolks and to trap air into the mixture and to get what we call a savion. And this will take about five minutes. You should be able to look underneath and we'll just turn that down because we don't really want to see the water boiling. It's very important that you do not get any egg yolks staying up the side of the bowl that everything comes back into the center and then you continually whisk so that we get a nice even cooking process of the egg yolks and this will take me just a couple of minutes. So I've been whisking my egg yolks and sugar over a low heat for a few minutes now and you can see that it starts to get thick and glossy and form a ribbon that it leaves an impression over itself and that's very important. How long this takes you will depend on how well you control your heat and how much energy you put into this. What I'm going to do here is I can now take this off the heat and I'm going to drain my gelatin. If you look, remember from the beginning of the video, my gelatin was quite firm. Now it's soft like plastic. I'm going to pop that over our heat while we take care of the rest of the mixture because that will allow us to incorporate the gelatin easily. I have here some stock syrup and some Contro. And I'm just going to heat up this liquid and I'm going to add it to my chocolate. If I was to fold this chocolate and butter mixture straight into my Savion, it can seize up. 
So what's important is that we get some hot liquid and this has just come to a simmer. And what we can see here, let's move. If I add some syrup and contro that I'm using here to flavour my chocolate, that it's going to form a nice glossy chocolate paste. Now, if you don't add enough hot water, it will become dull and grainy, and all that tells you is you need to add a little bit more. So, if you have a look here, see how it can get a lot thicker than this, but see how it's a little bit thick and a little bit grainy? I need to add just a little bit more, just to adjust it nicely. This breaks down the chocolate, and the Contro, of course, gives it a nice flavour, and makes it easy to incorporate into our Savion. So you can see it now looks a lot softer and shinier. If you find your chocolate and egg mix isn't quite elastic enough, we can always add a little bit more in. You can see here our gelatin started to melt. And what we're going to do now, we're going to fold together our chocolate and our Savion. So they can go straight in together like so. Okay, so I've added my chocolate and my egg mixture together. I'm going to add a touch more syrup, like so. And we're just going to whisk that together and get ourselves a nice, smooth and glossy paste. What I need to think about now is incorporating my gelatin. So that can go straight in. And now we just need to get our temperature down to incorporate our cream. I'm just going to move over to the side here. 